Hi everyone, I've set up base camp for a week in the southern French city of Nîmes. Having explored the local neighbourhood and also the city centre for Roman ruins, I decided today to venture a little further afield and explore the historic city of Avignon. Little did I know my arrival would coincide with a rather important local event. Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Avignon. I have never been here before but I've heard so much about it. Today we're going to explore this place. This is the 14th century wall and it rings the city which is pretty impressive. I don't really know where I'm going, I'm just really just going to wing it today uh, but I'm sure we're going to see some amazing sights. There's a street down here called, if I'm pronouncing it right, Rue de Tenurière, and it's a historical cobblestone area, loads of cafes, restaurants, and theatres as well. Wow, no shortage of shows to choose from, is there? Okay, next thing is the indoor market, which are always loads of fun. It's just down here somewhere. Aha! So you ready? Let's go in. French really do love their cheese, don't they? They love their seafood as well. 
Cheese and fish. I love France. I could spend way too much time in there. What a fantastic place. I'm not lost, I've just misplaced myself. You can't really be lost in a walled city. Hmm, so where exactly am I? This is actually uh, like the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, full of uh, street performers and music and there's a really good vibe here. I'm going to walk along the wall for about a kilometre or two, but on the shady side. My arrival into Avignon seems to have corresponded with the festival of Avignon. That's why the place is absolutely jumping with performers. I just saw a catalogue back there. It reminded me of the phone books you used to get years ago. It was massive and it was free and it was printed in colour. Must cost an absolute fortune. This 14th century wall is apparently the second wall to be built here. The first one was more or less demolished. Uh, but there is a little bit of it and I'm hoping to try and find it later on. Only the French would not hesitate to drive through a crowd of people. I'm not actually sure where these steps lead to, but there's dozens of people heading up here, so I thought there must be something worthwhile. Whoa. I always seem to find steps, don't I? Aha! According to my map, there's a lookout up here, and I guess if you're going to put a lookout somewhere, you do it at the top of a hill, don't you? I know that from the Tour de France.
I thought there might have been better panoramic views of the Rhone River, but not from here. At least I got to see Montevon too, which for a Tour de France fan, that's a big deal. I do like the occasional grotto, don't you? It's probably closed for health and safety reasons. Some of those steps looked a bit precarious. That is Avignon Cathedral. I was hoping to go in and have a look around, but it's a Sunday and from the sounds of things, there's a mass or there's a service uh, being held. So the chances of me getting in, I think, are relatively slim. The trees here are full of cicadas, and that brings back memories of my childhood in Sydney, Australia. Although, when you live there and you hear this, uh, like months on end, it it drives you nuts, it really does. I remember my neighbour used to get so annoyed with the cicadas, he would go out and spray them with a high pressure hose. And that worked for about five minutes and then they'd be back at it again. They just drive you loony. Even in Avignon. And no, I'm not going to go on it. One cheese and ham crepe. I've only ever had one before in my life and that was in Dechen in Czechia. Uh, it was about six, seven, eight weeks ago, something like that. And I thought, what a bizarre thing. But it was actually not too bad. Now that I know that they're palatable, wherever I go, I can always have a jambon fromage crepe. Again, I've got no idea where this goes. But it's going downhill, which makes me think eventually I should come to the River Rhone. Most of the souvenir shops around here seem to be selling fragrances, for example, lavender in bags and um, scented soap. Yeah, so I bought some. It was very nice. I do like the citrus smells. They're, they're 
fantastic. Hey, and here's a tunnel. You know how I love tunnels? This is probably the world's shortest tunnel. Look at this. Okay, just up here is La Ponte de Avignon. The remains of a 12th century bridge. And it's one of the sort of symbols of the city. And I think it's important we go and have a look at it. But there seems to be a gate, and I'm wondering if there's an admission fee. Well, there was no admission fee, but there was a security tent, and that's possibly what I saw. Ah. How green is the River Rhone? It must have been amazing in the Middle Ages to approach Avignon across this bridge and look at this wall and the cathedrals and think, wow. This part of town is nuts, it's so busy. <laughs> I looked at the cost of a gelato back there, six euros. Eh, no. And the last thing I want to see here in Avignon is down here somewhere. It used to be a lot bigger, but now it's very, very small. And you can actually walk past it without realizing what it is. Where is it? Hmm. It's around here somewhere. I'm in the right place. Aha! Found it. This is the only remaining part of the original 13th century wall which used to go around Avignon. It's been replaced by the larger one from the 14th century which we explored at the start of this video. There's not much left of it, is there? So guys, what did I think of my first ever visit to Avignon? Absolutely beautiful. I only scratched the surface. I will have to come back and explore this place in detail. But it was absolutely amazing, but also very, very busy. Partly down to the fact that it's uh, arts festival time here in Avignon. I timed that well, didn't I? Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming along with me on this adventure. Hope you appreciated it, and I'll see you next time.